Hello everybody, I'm on Moore Central and welcome to Cornwall, although um, this sort of background doesn't really give away Cornwall, um, the bus stop up there will. So transport for Cornwall is the region that we're in um, for this video and for the next sort of like, uh, uh, this will probably be uh, midway through the mini series of Cornwall, similar things to what we did with Belfast where I did a few videos when I was over there I'm in Cornwall for a couple of days and um, so I'm getting a few videos in you'll have already seen hopefully the train video if I've managed to edit that up and things with the branch line really really cool um, sort of concept of going on a rural branch line with request stops and things really cool um, unusual feature of a railway and um, something you don't get in the urban surroundings sort of northern England and stuff like that but for this video we're doing an adventure on the buses we all love the buses on the channel including myself so it is currently 7 53 in the morning it's been a very very long time since i've been up this early to go on an adventure on the buses we're waiting at a bus stop about 25 minutes outside of truro we're going to be getting a first kerno um, or however they call themselves i think it's cornwall by kerno um, 91 service into Truro and we're going to slowly make our way round their network sort of hopefully encompassing the core areas of Falmouth, Penzance and St Ives on our way around. There'll also be a few sort of adventures on some of the brands and things like that and there's going to be some separate videos on the brands so we're going to, this video's more going to be the random exploring one, getting the different buses and getting an idea of the network so like my network reviews that's what more this video is going to be like and then there's going to be specific brands that I'm going for as well that will feature in separate videos but more on that later on. So anyway I've got my breakfast waiting for me um, sort of, or I've got to have my breakfast should I say um, before I jump on the bus. So we're going to have a breakfast and then we're going to wait for the 91 up to Truro. So our first bus is triple 310 WK18 CGG in a lovely green livery. So a nice cool feature of some buses in Cornwall, especially these new E400 MMCs, is a table. And do love a good table seat, remember my sort of videos from East Yorkshire and elsewhere. So yeah, quite a nice view. Love the seats as well, very very similar if not the same design as what they've used on the mainline X78s. Very very similar style to that and very comfy seats with working USP parts. Um, and when it hopefully the mist clears and it becomes a warm day, and hopefully some good scenery out of the window. And here we are in Truro bus station. I believe next door is our next bus to Falmouth. So next bus is 33476. Hello, you alright? Thank you. So unlike the 18 plate we've just been on, the 66 Reg E400 MMCs feature a middle seat, as you can see that I'm sat on now. Quite a unique thing that obviously the 18s and newer ones have taken the middle seat out, I assume for luggage, sort of storage, space people out, stuff like that. Um, but this one still has the middle seat, 
these are slightly older variants as well branded for sort of the um, cross new key Falmouth via Trail services the U1 and the U1A that also serve um, I believe one or two of the universities and colleges on the route a lot of the stuff around here is sort of based on where academic places are um, such as this service so we're on this to one of the um, campuses hopefully we're going to jump off there and jump on a Scania um, for a little bit of a trip over to Falmouth Thank you. And there's our bus in front, 32546 on the U4. Morning, you alright? I'm good, thank you. Very, very pleasant interior on this one. Looks like it's had a nice blue refurbishment. One of the ex-Glasgow examples um, that now resides here. One of the Trident replacements. However, thankfully on this service are some of the newer Tridents. One some of the 54 and 55 edges. We're also on this route, so hopefully we'll get one of them in as well today. Thank you, see you later. So there we go, so that was 32546, one of the ex Glasgow B7 Geminis, and we're now in a Tesco, so we're going to wait for the next bus. So, our first go ahead vehicle today, 2458, to be 70DZF on the 34. Hello, you alright? Thank you. So 
So obviously when you're new to an area and on your first trip you bump into stuff that you wouldn't quite expect and on our way on the 34 we're going to go a little bit further and get the L1 back and um, I noticed quite a few buses parked up um, in the yard this is one of the outstation um, sites that they have obviously in Cornwall we've been rural they use a lot of outstation sites to store buses and things and um, to make it easier for sort of drivers to collect them and routes to not have dead mileage having to run miles and miles and miles to a main depot and um, we're going to have a little look get a few photos of all of these bad looks of it things um, of interest initially 37045 it's york and 32800 that's a president over there the open topper and um, that's ex scarborough district in east york so did the whole city tour s and t510 ssg and then 65724 that's one of the two scania solars and um, that were on the discover bus network in bath and before that did the x74 um from slough Let's have a wee look, see what we get, get some photos and then jump on a bus and head back over to Helston for the continued trip over to Penzance. There we go, SL64HZC, one of the last standard E400s built before they made MMCs. Nice stagecoach interior. Thank you, see you later. And there we go, and that was 5001, what I believe was the next demonstrator. So the first highlight of the day, a Dennis Trident. I do love my Tridents. WA54 OLT32758 on the U4 to Penzance. Hello, you alright? Thank you. Nice little stop off at a castle by the looks of it, St Michael's Mount. And then we're going to hopefully jump on a um, Go Cornwall um, to service over to Penzance. Two thousand and three on the transport for Cornwall, five one five to Penzance. Hello, you all right? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 
thank you. <laughs> there we go, now at Penzance with a lovely line of buses over there. Hello, you alright? Thank you. And here we are now arriving into the incredibly picturesque St Ives bus station. The bus station itself being based, as you can see, just above the stunning looking harbour um, on this Easter Bank Holiday weekend. Hopefully now, with the weather picking up, we're going to jump on an open top bus, do a little bit of an open top double decker trip on the um, Land's End route. Oh, not all the way, we'll go a little bit and then come back as we've got another route that we want to go on with something a bit unique, but hopefully a nice trip out to enjoy the weather. Thank you. And here we are at the stunning looking St Ives. It's now a little bit of a wait for the open top bus. Hello, we are right. Thank you. Thank you, see you later. Thank you. So here we are at Zeno. Just a 32200. And here is our bus for the trip back, 32208 to St. Ives. Hello, you alright? Thank you. Thank you. So to conclude this video, having a look around the network in Cornwall, and unlike a few of the other videos um, around um, sort of this sort of network review series, I have absolutely nothing negative to say about the network in Cornwall. It was beyond belief how impressive the network was. Albeit on the Sundays, when it's Sunday service, there isn't that many buses in the evening. On a Monday to Saturday basis, the core network of daytime services, open top services, routes that link across the country, or the county, should I say, routes that link across the county, your evening services on these core routes, is absolutely phenomenal. At the moment, um, Transport for Cornwall um, have introduced sort of some um, subsidy on the day tickets. I believe they're usually around eight, nine pounds. Um, but for the time that I was filming this video over the Easter weekend and sort of through that month, and I believe through quite a bit of spring, it's only five pounds for the day ticket for an adult um, that's valid across all, pretty much all of the operators that run in Cornwall. So it's first bus um, that run Cornwall by Kerno. It is Go Ahead who run the red transport for Cornwall buses. And some of the other smaller operators as well have taken part. So for just £5 a day that's currently being subsidised by the council, um, you can travel 
um, on all of the network. You're open toppers, you bought your normal bus services um, to the Lizard, to Land's End, to St. Times. Pretty much everything that we did in this video and much, much more for just a day. The buses themselves, some of them were quite tired, um, but obviously Cornwall, um, sort of with how the routes are and the rumour of things, are not investing in the newest and newest buses. However, there are new buses on the way um, in the sort of form on the Lands End Coaster. Um, they're going to be getting some nice Volvo um, B90 or Gemini 2 double deckers for that, that are then going to allow the um, open top coasters and the President's go on other routes, so there's going to be more routes that are open top. The Enviro 400 open tops are also entering service mode. There's going to be a separate video on the Atlantic coaster, of which they are fully on there at the moment, very, very soon, so look out for that video. And there's much, much more as well, um, with the Transport for Cornwall and First Bus sort of on some corridors, providing what would probably be described as a little bit too much of a frequent service along some corridors, so it would be nice to see some more quality bus partnerships there, where they made the, the buses more financially viable. But from a customer perspective, having more buses per hour is ideal, even if it, even if in the longer term future it's probably not going to be financially viable. So it would be nice to see them um, make sort of look into another option to hopefully make them work a little bit more combined together. But overall though, I was incredibly impressed. I really highly, highly recommend a visit to Cornwall, not just to look at the sights, the sunny weather, the open top buses, but to look at the bus network itself an inspiration to many regions and many operators throughout the rest of the UK of what can be achieved both on a sort of standard customer basis and a tourism sector basis. Very, very impressive overall. I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you do have any other questions or queries about the network, do be sure to um, let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them. And if you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. As well as if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And More Central YouTube channel for more content like this, both the network reviews, more content from Cornwall and other stuff from the bus industry around the UK and beyond. I really hope you've all enjoyed this video for sort of any um, backseat um, sort of buses that you're interested in hearing the engine sounds. Um, the videos will be uploaded in here soon as well as on the other channel that I run and more bus videos um, where there are sort of um, around an archive of just less than 4,000 videos and growing week on week at the moment of backseat and engine focus, public transport, bus and coach videos from around the UK. And there's something on there for everyone and combined uploads with this channel means it and there are videos seven days a week released so you're never going to be bored if you are subscribed to both. Again though, I hope you've all enjoyed this one. Um, if you do have any other questions or queries do be sure to let me know in the comments below about the Cornwall Network and I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.